Utah's two most iconic bodies of water help tell the story of the West's mega drought. Going in depth, Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth looks at the water in Lake Powell as well as the Great Salt Lake. So I'm just over six feet tall and the Great Salt Lake is six feet lower right now than it normally is. Just six feet lower has left the lake at 56% of its normal size, meaning 750 square miles of lake bed uncovered. The pictures tell the story. A Google satellite image from 2022. Now fade that into one of the maps in our old textbooks. And look to the lake north of Ogden around Willard Bay in a 2022 image and fade it to the textbook map. Same thing with Farmington Bay, the shoreline defining most Utahns' experience of the lake and its impact on us. See to the right of Antelope Island, you have the Jordan River Channel flowing across an empty expanse of lake bed. The old textbook shows us the ideal picture. Aside from its iconic status, the Great Salt Lake is a weather maker and a pollution capper. The middle Wasatch Mountains rely on the boost of lake effect snowfall, and Wasatch Front residents would rather not have a giant source of windblown dust next door. Utah's other iconic lake doesn't make weather. Lake Powell generates power and stores water. To get a sense of the challenge at Lake Powell, think of the old water jug you take to a softball game. The jug has a spigot near the bottom to access the water. Water has weight and gravity pushes it down and out of any available release point. The more water, the more weight, the stronger flow out of that spigot. It doesn't have to be full to work though. The goal to stay safe this year in Lake Powell was to stay at above 3,525 feet in elevation. That's the minimum target. Lake Powell is just two-tenths of an inch above that right now. The first definite consequence happens when it sinks below 3,490 feet. After that, the dam won't generate reliable power. That's called the minimum power pool. And see that spigot? It's not exactly at the bottom. To manage water, the level must be above the spigot. In a reservoir, that's called the dead pool. Below 3,370 feet, the dam itself is useless. Water managers have some options. They can limit water downstream and they can release water from dams upstream, like Flaming Gorge. But filling a gigantic lake with water from smaller lakes is a limited and short-term measure. In studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.